How the Twelve Apostles of Christ died is not always clear to scholars of religion. There are oral accounts of what may have happened to each of them, but few documents prove what would have happened to the men who followed Jesus of Nazareth. The apostles put their personal lives and jobs aside to join Jesus during his life mission. With the death of Christ, they continued the task of preaching the gospel. Discover now how was the life of each religious until his death. Who were the twelve apostles of Christ? The apostles of Christ went. Peter, meaning stone. Andre, meaning strong, virile man. John, meaning the Lord is merciful. Felipe, meaning friend of horses. Bartholomew, meaning son of Ptolemy. Matthew, which means gift from God. Thomas, meaning twin, and Simon, meaning one who hears God. The last four have groups of two equal names. They are James the Greater and Lesser, meaning supported by the heel, Lesser, meaning supported by the heel, and Judas Thaddeus and Iscariot, which means blessed. Check out now how the twelve apostles of Christ lived and died. Peter. Peter was the eldest of the apostles and the one to whom Jesus clearly gave him some kind of leadership. After the death of Christ, it was Peter who led the mission among those who remained. His missionary work lasted until the day he was killed 68 years after the birth of Christ. The apostle continued his mission for another 35 years after Jesus was killed. And his death resembled his in the way it happened. Tradition has it that he was crucified in Rome, but he would have asked to stay upside down so as not to resemble his master. Andrew Andrew was the brother of Peter, also a fisherman. Before he met Christ, he was already a follower of John the Baptist, but he did not hesitate when he met the Messiah and soon joined him. Tradition shows that Andrew was also heavily tortured before going to the cross in Greece. He was stationed in the province of Achaia where he was crucified only this time by an X-shaped cross. His remains were found centuries later and taken to Scotland by sea, where the ship would have wrecked. So, to this day, there is an island called St. Andrew. John John was the youngest disciple that Christ had. It is thought that at the time of Jesus' crucifixion, he was between 17 and 20 years old. Brother of James, another apostle, the young man would have been thrown alive in boiling oil, but he would have suffered nothing. After this, he played an important role for the Christian religion. He wrote several books considered sacred, the accounts of the end of the world described in the apocalypse. It is believed that he died around the age of 100 of natural causes in Ephesus. Philip The story of Philip's death is confusing. It is still unclear how the disciple who continued his mission in Asia, in the regions of Phrygia and Hierapolis died. There are reports that he died of natural causes, but there are also scholars who believe that he died hanged, stoned, and even crucified in Hierapolis. Bartholomew Bartholomew reportedly carried out his mission in Anatolia, Ethiopia, Armenia, India, and Mesopotamia. The manner in which he died also arouses controversy and confusion, for there is more than one version for the fact. The tradition of the Catholic Church states that he was put alive in a sack and thrown into the sea after being scourged. There is other information that states that he too would have been crucified. Matthew Accounts indicate that Matthew continued his mission in the place where he lived with Christ. The apostle would have traversed all Persia, Judea, and Ethiopia, being killed in the latter. The cause of his death would have been from a sword wound. But there are also those who believe that the former tax worker who was summoned by Jesus died of natural causes. His tomb is in Salerno, an Italian city. Thomas After the death of Jesus, the apostle who gained prominence in the biblical accounts by asking to touch Christ after his resurrection and became synonymous with see to believe went on a mission through India. There are reports that he died of arrows during his prayers and his death was ordered by the king of Malapura in the Indian city of Madras in the year 53 after Christ. Simon Simon is a little portrayed apostle in the biblical accounts, so all that is known of him is pure speculation, including his death. Some say that he had been killed in Rome during a massacre in the year 70 after Christ. James son of Alphaeus 
The fisherman who became an apostle, James the Elder, has his death reported from more reliable sources. He would have been killed just over 10 years after Christ. He was beheaded in Jerusalem on the same occasion that Peter was arrested. It was James, the first disciple to die in the name of the Christian cause. Centuries later, he became a patron of Spain. With the colonization of some South American countries by Spain, James also became patron saint of many regions of Chile, Peru, Mexico, and other nations that passed through Spanish rule. James. There are two accounts of James' causes of death. The first says that he was crucified, as was Jesus in Egypt in the year AD 62. The apostle became a missionary in Palestine and the country where he was killed. Another hypothesis is that he would have been stoned to death at the behest of Ananias, a high priest who wanted him to denounce some Christians. Judas Thaddeus After Christ's death, Judas wrote one of the letters present in the New Testament, the so-called Judas Letter. He would have followed his mission after the master's death and preached in Mesopotamia, Arabia, Syria, and Persia. The latter would have been the site of his death from violent but unspecified causes. Judas Iscariot It is the only death of an apostle that is reported biblically. Judas Iscariot hanged himself after betraying Jesus for a few coins. The full account is in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, and verses 3 to 5. Remembering that all this information is a consensus of the life of each of the disciples, and that there is some disagreement among Bible scholars as to who was actually a disciple of Jesus. But did you know the story of the death of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ? Don't forget to leave your like to support our Bible themes and sign up to miss nothing. I'll call it a night, but I'll see you in the next video.